Hello, hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Imperfectly Perfect, True Crime and More with Jay Diaz and my honey bunny. Oh, Loli. Yeah, my baby. So, today, well, okay, sorry, let me take it back. My name is Jessica. For those of you who don't know me, if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you stick around to the end to hear what I have to say. This is a conspiracy theory speculation channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Summer Wells and um, people I feel like are affiliated with her disappearance or just like the crazy things that surround this case. So before I get into that, uh, please like this video if you like it. Please share it if you find it shareable. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. These are my speculations, what I've come up with from the facts that are put out in this case. So really, everything is speculation because Summer has not been found. Nobody knows what happens. None of the stories make sense or, um, you know, corroborate each other at all. Everyone's got a different story. No one really knows when she went missing, which would have been... They said she was reported on June 15th, 2021. She went missing from her home in Rogersville, Tennessee, and hasn't been seen since. No one knows what's going on. So until she is found, everything is speculation, right? Right. So um, I am just putting out there what I think. So I think that um, a woman named Robin Lane, who was her Sunday, who was summer Sunday school teacher. Okay. She just comes across as very strange to me. I don't know if you guys get that same vibe, but something isn't right with that whole situation. Um, she is the Sunday school teacher said that summer was very close to her. She herself said that she absolutely adored summer. Um, anytime they were at church together, Summer was with her the whole time. Um, I think that she had like an obsession with Summer um, to some degree. Um, she has a daughter. Robin has a daughter. And, um, you know, it's been said that people thought that she kind of wished Summer was her daughter. She wished that her daughter was more like Summer. And so she had like this weird obsession with her and I think that Robin did not like uh Don and Candace uh I think they didn't they she didn't think that Summer was in the best place she could be and it wouldn't surprise me if she did something to try to get Summer away from the wells um there was an interview that um Candace did with Chris McDonough uh, from the interview room. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. And as they're standing in the park, um, going over the day Summer went missing, they went to the water hole uh, where Summer was last seen to be swimming that morning. Uh, they went back and they were doing like a little, you know, recap of the day. And if you look in that video, which it wasn't pointed out right away, and the video wasn't released right away of this, but as Chris and Candace are talking, you can see um, Robin and her daughter walking past the car. She doesn't even make eye contact with Candace, just walks right by like she has no idea who she is. One, I found that very weird, okay? Also, um... It was said that day that when she went missing, Candace was trying to contact Robin. Robin was supposedly at the church um, doing a photo shoot for like a little concert or something that was supposed to be going on that day. Um, I don't know. I just find it so weird. Um, just the stuff that she said, like she's very... Um, very like not standoffish but very like general okay so she's like well you know i i don't really know too much about them um you know they just started coming to church like i don't know literally make three four weeks maybe before summer went missing so she didn't really know them 
but she kind of proclaims that she knows them, you know, better than she would have. And it's like, you just met these people. She also made statements like, oh, well, you know, the first time the Wells came, uh, I thought they were actually homeless and that they were just using the church. But then they came back and then they came back week after week after week. And I, I realized that they, you know, were here to stay. She also talked about how they dress um you know just the vibe she got from them which was kind of like trashy is is kind of how she made it seem but then she said she started to get to know them and that they were good people and then she said she grew very attached to summer very quickly and that summer absolutely adored her clung on to her which is fine that's nice you know summer probably felt safe there and robin showed her a lot of attention and she loved that nothing wrong with that but she also made a comment that when um, Candace was trying to contact her that day, uh, that she didn't answer the phone because of the photo shoot. Uh, she said she actually spoke to um, this guy named David Dotson, who is just like, to me, he's weird. He's weird. I, I get a creepy vibe from him. Um, he was somebody also that was affiliated with the church that they go to in Tennessee. And which I really think that that church is a cover up for all types of crimes. I don't feel like that church is legit. It's a legit church, but I feel like they do not legit stuff at all there. I feel like it's a lot of weird things like trafficking, you know, that type of thing. So, um, she had made a comment that she didn't realize, well, Candace had said, listen, Summer's missing. And, um, David Dodson was also said to be on the Wells property, um, around like six or six 30. And this is when Summer supposedly went missing. Um, it's just so weird. Why are all these people on your property? Like everybody, you know, is there, but nobody saw Summer. I, it's just weird to me. I don't know. I feel like there has to be some type of cover up. Too many people not to know something and everybody was said to have been there some way, somehow. Okay. It's just weird. So this David Dodson, he is um, on the property and um, Robin said that she didn't realize that Summer's disappearance was going to be such a big deal. Um, she didn't realize how serious it, was, serious it was until she got to the Wells property and there were police and people showing up to search for Summer. She said she also got the phone call that Summer was missing and her first thing was to grab snacks and flashlights. Like who the hell is worried about getting snacks when this little girl you supposedly adore is missing like eating would be the last thing on my mind but that's in my opinion so um she said she knew it was going to be a long night to search for summer like why would you even say that why wouldn't you think that summer maybe just got hurt and was in the woods or you know that she'd be close by and not hard to find it was just too weird it's like she knew she was gone you know um there's plenty of people in there there's um this lady, Jody Sue, um, she also is a neighbor on Ben Hill Road to the Wells. And she, I, I'm not sure if this is the same Andy, Andrew Hiltz. I'm not sure if that's the Andy that they're referring to as her ex-boyfriend. But Jody Sue, she's she just comes across as sketchy to me too. Um, you know, she said she's the one that supposedly heard the scream that day Summer went missing. Um, I, I don't know. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you just get that vibe that something isn't right, but you can't really put your finger on it. I have that vibe from everybody on Ben Hill Road, that association now supposedly, um, investigators are saying that they are going back to Ben Hill Road to actually 209 Ben Hill Road to search for summer. There have been readings, um, you know, psychic readings and stuff, and everything's pointing to, to Ben Hill Road, like maybe she's buried there or being held there. I don't know. Me personally, I don't think Summer's alive anymore. But then I think of it like this, like if she was sold, right, you're not going to pay 
30, 40, 50 thousand dollars for a child and then kill them. You're going to keep them, right? So I know that's a terrible scenario, but at least she would be alive. You know, that's what I'm going for. I don't know. There's just, I feel like there's so many creepy people involved and I don't know. Robin just gives me this. She's a, <laughs> she's just too animated for me. And I know I'm animated, but I'm saying she is just, it's inappropriate for what's going on. You know what I mean? She just, I feel like she just is deflecting everything and it just comes off as fake to me. You know, you guys let me know what you think. Do you, do you know about any of these people? This David Dodson, I don't know. He just got married to somebody um, and she looked like way younger than him. Um, he just comes across as like a perv to me. I don't know. That's, I could be completely wrong. Could be the nicest, most holy person in this world. But these people come across as sketchy. I feel like the church is definitely affiliated in some shady, shady shit. But you guys let me know what you think. Uh, do you think that church is involved? Do you think Summer's alive? Do you think I'm way off? I would love to hear your theories, what you guys think. But these are the people I feel like are very much so involved. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I just cannot stop thinking about this case and, um, you know, what Summer must have been going through in her final hours or just, you know, in the years leading up to all this. Like... I feel like Summer, like I said, you know, has experienced um, a lot of sexual abuse in her life. I'm not saying it's from Don. I do not think Don is involved in this actual disappearance. Do I think that maybe, you know, due to drugs and stuff like that, he wasn't the best parent? Sure. You know, I've had an issue with drugs myself. It never changed my love for my child, though. And so, you know, to just assume because he has a shady past and he does have, you know, has been said to have SA with his sister and stuff like that. He does come from a shady past, but do I, do I think that he killed Summer? No. Um, also, Benny Keys, who is um, a friend of the Wells, I absolutely do not think he has anything to do with with Summer's disappearance, anything like that, knows nothing, absolutely not. He is not affiliated with this at all. I, I know a lot of people are saying, you know, he's a shady character. I like Benny very much. I think he's hilarious. He's actually extremely intelligent. And um, I just don't foresee someone like that who, he, I know a lot of these people have started YouTube channels though. And like Jody Sue, Andrew, Benny, the Wells, they have their own. I don't know if Robin and David Dodson and those people have it, but they are definitely on the internet. So, um, I don't know. Just let me know. I'm just getting creepy vibes and, you know, you don't know what to think because she's still gone. You know what I mean? So everybody's a suspect until no one is, in my opinion. So you guys let me know. Please like this video if you like it. Please share it if you find it shareable. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I appreciate you so much for watching. Let's find summer. Have a wonderful blessed day. Take care. Cherish the simple things. Bye guys.